It's Manager Monday, and do you know where your managers are? I'm back with another, I guess, episode. Is that what you call these episodes? Uh, it's, I don't know. I'm back with another episode um, of Manager Monday, where I get to open up something and see if it's worth paying what I paid for it. Uh, this is from Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures. Uh, it's the Wiz Kids Unpainted um, Young Bronze Dragon episode sounds like something that you have with the people in the white suit show up at the bus stop for you anyway so um yeah uh, i paid 16.99 at the local game shop for this uh there is a um there is a website there that you can go to i find it kind of weird they don't really kind of tell you what they're putting out before they put it out on their webpage um so I don't know, because I'm always eager to know what the next wave of miniatures is going to be. So um, without further ado, that's a rendering of what that would look like painted, which I would probably have some fun painting a bunch of bronze on something. Without further ado, let's open this up and see what we got going on. So somebody went ahead and messaged me that... They were sad I didn't do a miniature Monday last Monday. Well, you're probably the only one. But anyway, <laughs> this video is just for you, buddy. So uh, you know who you are. So it comes with a 3-inch by 3-inch base. Round, wafer, thin. It comes with this cool stand, I guess, where, I mean, if you don't use a stand, you can always probably sand it down and use it for a water weeder or something. Or, yeah. So, and then we also have the actual dragon miniature itself, um, with the wings totally in the, I guess, would this be like the attack formation? <laughs> so, um, the, the wings are straight up. Um, a lot of that has to do with the packaging, how they, when they put them in the package, they're just straight up. Um, what I found is if you just get some boiling hot water, you heard me say it a million times. He's going to say boiling hot water. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you put some boiling hot water out, put these in a bowl of it, just the wings, pick it up, try not to bend or burn the crap out of yourself, and then just spread the wings apart and then put them in a bowl of cold water, um, you're going to get a pretty decent um, appearing dragon. Um, you know, as far as wings go uh they're great for when you got bent miniature weapons um that are made out of like uh you know resin or plastic or you know whoever the th this is more of a plastic so it's not really much of a resin but um let's see oh, that was a weird thing uh, anyway so i don't know what that was it was like stuck to his rib cage uh, i think i just uh took a tumor off the poor guy so Anyway, I like the detail on this. It's pretty good. Um, my my gripe, though, is... Well, there's the wings. But I also had a gripe of... Um, that's a bronze dragon. And you, when are you going to use a bronze dragon in a campaign? They're just kind of seldom used, I guess. I don't know. Um, I like all the chromatic dragons, because at least you can use them as enemies. But, you know, I guess, you know, everybody needs a friend. So, uh, in the words of Bob Ross. So, you have your peg in the hole and just plugs in just like that. And that's pretty much what it would look like on the base. So that's that's kind of what we got going on there. Um, I got a miniature right here for comparison. This would be a you know ordinary you know just twenty eight millimeter you know scale miniature. It actually, it's pretty impressive for you know was it sixteen ninety nine I paid for it? Yeah, it's pretty pretty impressive for that. I mean, we got about. Six inches from the tip of the uh, from the tip of the uh, wings to the floor. We got good old what was it about four inches in length. 
and it's just on a three inch by three inch base. So all in all, I mean, it's it's a pretty good deal for your money. Um, you, and you could probably get away with painting it like a different color. Um, you know, it's got kind of a smaller body. Um, I, I know it, it's kind of, it kind of looks like, uh, what am I trying to say? The green dragon they cranked out not too long ago. It's kind of got that sort of, uh, you know, feel to it. Um, but I like it. I would buy it again and I'm going to have fun painting this. I'll probably go through a whole pot of bronze paint just to paint it, but, uh, that's all right because I think it'll look pretty cool once I am done with it. So, um, anyway, um, I want to thank you for watching the video. Um, you know, it's, uh, it was kind of a weird one, but oh well. Um, if you uh, got anything you want to see me open up in the future, I'm just about done opening up miniatures for this this wave of the WizKid stuff. So if you got anything else in mind, um, yeah, just let me know and I'll see what I can rummage up. Um, I got some of the Reaper Bones Black stuff that I do plan on opening up here pretty soon. Um, they got some pretty neat stuff every once in a while and... Uh, and you know the price you know, is a little bit more than the bones but you know what you know it's good quality and uh yeah i'm fine with that anyway if you like this video hit a thumbs up if you disliked it and there's always that one person that dislikes them hit a thumbs down but no, literally go through my videos there's always one guy that gives it a thumbs down i, I think it's like my ex-wife going through is like Oh, that's fucking asshole in this video and just hit a thumbs down. So, uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, or go through all my videos and hit thumbs down just, to, you know, I don't know. Keep my ex-wife company anyway. <laughs> um, if you want to subscribe, that will do me a huge favor. I'm just on the long, slow climb to a thousand subscribers. And if you, you know, subscribe, that would be very appreciative to me. Hell, you don't have to watch the videos. Just subscribe. Huh? Anyway. Um, yeah. Take care.